So recently I came across Cursor AI, similar to Visual Code Studio, and I was blown away because it's a very good code editor that has AI embedded in it. And you have um, different models that you can use from Claude to ChatGPT to DeepSeek even, and uh, that powers your code. It's great because it's a code editor. That means it can read all your code files, your packages, everything that is there on your app or your coding environment. And thanks to something like a live server, you can connect that easily to Webflow and have have a very, very quick workflow where you can create GSAP animations, very complex stuff that requires code directly with AI. It's pretty cool. What is the main advantage of having AI involved in this process? It just speeds it up or is it also something where you can do more complex things? So we know Workflow has its limitations and some features and the option is always to embed or code something natively or from scratch, put it in a code embed add it on the project and then publish and then see how it works. Mm -hmm. After AI came a few years back, people started using AI to make GSAP animations because even though they're used heavily, they do require a little bit of code. It's a JavaScript library, so it does require code. So even though it's a very nice library and everyone wants to use it, there is a learning curve. There is some obstacles that might come because of the code. And so things like Cursor makes it possible for anyone to do it. Nice. So this also enables us at NoCode to turn around quicker when it comes to to, uh, more complex animations for example in the hero section as we often see i can see where this can take you as a developer you can just do more complex things in a very short amount of time and uh, basically the possibilities are endless so yeah 